Morning guys, uh, Stephen Fittis here off of uh, ZGGTR, Kawasaki Concourse 14 Enthusiasts and COG on uh, Facebook. And uh, I've had a lot of questions lately about how I've mounted my Pelican case onto my 2013 Kawasaki Concourse 14. So here's a little walkthrough on how I did that. So there you can see it's mounted um, underneath here. You can see I've got Phil's rack. Um, it's an aluminum, a machined aluminum rack that uh, is much, much stronger than the factory plastic rack. I've seen those break with uh, zero load on them. And so I upgraded that to Phil's rack as soon as I possibly could. I think I ordered it like a week after I bought the bike. And then inside, see I've got uh, five bolts here and uh, those are going through fender washers. All I did is use longer bolts than uh, the factory ones to go all the way through the Pelican case. Then I also have a, a charger wire here using Anderson power pole connectors right there um, for charging cell phone batteries for the camera or whatever. Um, all those pieces of masking tape have got silicone in them from my previous mounting uh, method on my old bike. Um, overall, it's a very, very solid mount. Uh, each of these one, two, three, four bolts goes into the factory mounts all the way through the uh, through the fa factory rack or the fills rack. And this one here is the one that's back right there to uh, keep it from rattling. Um, how I how I mounted this was uh, I set the box onto the bike and put my wife on the bike and moved the box forward and backwards until it was comfortable for her. And then I took a Sharpie and drew a line right here at the back of the rack uh, so I could have my distance. I then took both the rack and the box off and uh, lined it up making sure it was perfectly straight uh, on these grooves right there. and. Uh, made sure it was lined up with my forward to backwards line. Once everything was squared up, I used the holes that are in the rack for the bolts right here, here, and on the other side. And uh, used those as my template for drilling through the box um, to put the longer bolts through. I went to Home Depot, picked up some cheap longer bolts. I used fender washers. I recommend at least that. Eventually I'd like to upgrade those to a large metal plate to help people from keep people from walking off with it. It is a plastic box so if they really really wanted to they could um, if it's locked they could just cut the uh, plastic around the lock but I haven't had a problem with that yet so far. Um, and the handle here does tend to rattle. I've contemplated taking it off but um, it's I do occasionally tie things to it because it's got a, a hole right there on either side that is quite convenient for putting a bungee cord to. Um, although I've also seen people use uh, truck tie downs that they attach to the box itself. So anyways, there's a quick walkthrough on how my Pelican case is mounted to the bike. Overall, I'm very, very happy with it. I've never had anything get wet in there. Um, Oh, one other thing here. I put holes right there for uh, bungee cords so I can run that from there across to the uh, the locking points and uh, put something on top as well. So anyways, there's my Pelican case mount and I uh, hope that helps some of you guys out.